The outpouring of condolences, uh, admiration, sympathy for, you know, the fellow officers uh, here left behind to deal with all of this. A lot of heavy hearts here. Uh, that materializing this morning, I mean, take a look behind me. Uh, we've got uh, upwards of 200 American flags uh, that are essentially ringing the entire block here around the Ogden Police Department. Uh, this all springing up within a matter of minutes, uh, even before the sun came up today. And it all uh, really focused on the fallen officer's patrol car. Uh, this car was put out here overnight uh, with a fallen officer's flag on it, and that was put out by Ogden PD. But early this morning, this group followed the flag, started uh, just pla planting these American flags. And this is a group that started a couple of years ago pretty organically following the death of North Ogden Mayor and U.S. Army Major Brent Taylor. After Major Taylor was killed in Afghanistan, several folks getting together to erect an American flag in Coldwater Canyon. Since that time, they have formed an association of concerned community members, former police officers, search and rescue team members among them to respond with a show of love and support when a tragedy like this happens. Group members mobilized just moments after the Ogden officer was shot and killed yesterday in the line of duty. We had uh, texts and messages just blowing up on our Facebook asking them what we were going to do, who could help, and we have a core team that comes around and does this and tries to support the officers, the families, and, and everyone involved. Yeah, Rob Clark, even reluctant to speak with us. They don't want any real attention to what they do. They just want to be there when they're needed, and uh, clearly this is going to probably help uh, soften the blow for a few folks to see this outpouring of support. And uh, we're still awaiting the name of the young officer who was killed yesterday, believed to be in his early to mid-20s. He'd only been on the force 15 months. And uh, again, uh, I just caught up with uh, Chief Randy Watt. He's walking in to, to take care of uh, ironing out the details of releasing his name and some more information about what happened yesterday. But, you know, he said, obviously, this is the hardest thing any chief will ever have to go through. And uh, just a difficult situation. We're expecting to learn more this morning. Again, the identity of the man, uh, the suspect in all of this, and uh, the officer who was shot and killed yesterday in the line of duty. For now, we're live in Ogden. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.